So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology and today we're going to be taking a look at the iOS 26 on my iPhone 16 Pro Max versus iOS 18 on my iPhone 16 Pro. The reason for this is to give you an idea of how this beta one, this is the developer beta one, is going to perform because a lot of people want to get this thing on their phone now. Um, it just launched a couple days ago so let's go ahead and boot this up in three to go and I got to tell you I did make some comments in my initial beta one review that it looks pretty choppy and I've been playing with it you know a little bit and it definitely still feels that way so I think those comments are going to hold true here in the speed test but we'll see which one could boot up first I wouldn't be surprised if 26 boots up first sometimes weird things like that happen um, but definitely I wanted to use both of these phones because they both have the same CPU So there's gonna be no difference there and 26 did boot up a little bit faster There's gonna be no difference there in terms of the CPU or the RAM both of them are 8 gigabytes of RAM All right, so for iOS 26, let's just go ahead and begin with face ID and you could see the animation I don't know if that's how they intended it to be but it looks like it's behind like those widgets at the top look like they're delayed so you see how they like jump in? To me, that doesn't look smooth. It looks like it's behind like my action. So I'm not a fan of that so far. Let's go ahead and do the iOS 18 here. And again, all of my statements here, you see how smooth that was? This is an official version. I know some people, this is not fair. Uh, you know, you're doing an official version. Yes, I'm doing an official version because people are gonna be trying the beta from an official version. Um, but definitely I am very aware that this is a preliminary video. Just give it some time. I know that I'm making this video for those of you who want to download this and don't want to wait so you can see where it's at currently. So yeah, this video probably is not going to have the longest shelf life. You know, people are saying I want it to really feel 120 Hertz. Well, it doesn't really feel like that. As a matter of fact, it feels slower um, than the iOS 18 when scrolling through here. So this is a really, very, very, very early version. And it was a lot of space to download. And I think changing the whole UI definitely is gonna make it where developers over time are gonna have to work these kinks out a little bit more than just when they you know, do these updates year over year that are just minor, like uh, 17 to 18, where they don't like really like overhaul the entire UI. Uh, it stays pretty smooth because but this one, they're doing a whole new, all these different UI elements. So I think that's related. And you can see the new control center here. A lot of people not digging this. Some people are. Let me know your thoughts. Do you dig the new liquid glass look? You see right there, even going to that second page of, of uh, quick controls right there was a little choppy. But one thing I didn't talk about is if you see the liquid glass, you can see behind it there. It does kind of give that visual effect that you are there's a there's a glass there. So on this one, it's kind of translucent behind there, but you don't really see much other than that. So let me know your thoughts on the new liquid glass UI so far. All right, guys, so here we are at the app test. I will say most of the applications have been running okay. So we have 18.5 on the right, iOS 26 developer beta one on the left. Let's go into the calendar and you can see faster on the right, we'll go into clock. Again, faster on the right, we are going to be, have the ability now to edit those snooze alarms that we talked about, but you can see down here, even when you click these elements, they do look a little bit different. And this application is not that serious though. Let's swipe up out of there. We'll go into the calculator and it looks like the animation was still faster on the right. We'll go into app store, faster again on the right. So same CPUs. You can see how down here, there's elements change. And as you go through, it does have a little effect down there on iOS 26. So that's definitely nice. Let's go into chat GPT faster on the right. We'll swipe up out of there. Gemini faster again on the right. We'll go into Grok and launching first again on the right. We'll go, we'll go into Copilot on both. And that was just a hair quicker on the right. We'll go into YouTube and we'll go over here into trending devices here on both. Let's go to trending, we'll go to music, we'll go to gaming. How about movies? And as we go through these different sections, you'll see apps do run fine. Battery life has not been great though for me so far, draining a lot quicker here on developer beta one as expected. Don't, don't take this like I'm, I'm, I don't understand this. Like I know it's a beta. 
I expected that. That's why I didn't put it on my main iPhone, which right now is the 16 Pro, the smaller version. I've been wanting to use one hand lately, one handed device. That's why I've been using 16 Pro over Pro Max. And the battery life to me is good enough. Um, but the 16 Pro Max overall is still to me the better phone. Um, it's just that I haven't been enjoying its thick size, its huge weight. So we'll go over here to, we'll go over here to profile and everything's okay here. So I think your applications are good enough. It's not really your apps. Um, you'll be able to run your apps here on beta one. It's the little, the little like choppiness that you're going to experience throughout the software day to day, which you might not like it. It's, it doesn't feel flagship right now. It feels, it can feel in some scenarios you seen right there that coming out of there was just, it didn't look nice on the, on this one over here. The game mode also has that liquid glass effect. Let's swipe out and it's, it's inconsistent. Sometimes on the 26 right now, it's looking pretty smooth, but then sometimes it's not. But again, I wouldn't be concerned about either of these when it comes to just running a game, like running an app, like all your app, I mean, these are newer phones. I would be very concerned about some older iPhones though. I would probably like, you know, some of the older 12s or 13s. These phones are probably running this horrible right now. I, I, I mean, I can't confirm that cause I haven't tried it yet, but just based on seeing how it runs on a 16 pro max, I don't expect it currently to be running much better. This one's downloading resources, so basically a little bit of an unfair test. So this one would go to the 16 Pro Max, but let's just head into Dead Trigger 2, or Free Fire, excuse me, we'll go to Free Fire. And we'll see which one can launch this first. And you'll see both of them doing an okay job, 16 Pro Max in the lead, and 16 Pro Max takes the win, but then gets an error, I think, on the same account. But both of them do tend to perform like app launching. That was pretty choppy on the left. App launching, and you see right there, a little bit of a choppiness coming in. Uh, decently, similarly, let's go into 3D Mark. Basically the same. We're going to speed test, and basically the same. And I don't even have InShot on there. What am I doing today? I was so hyped about uh, iOS 26, I forgot to put a couple apps down here. Let's go into in shot and we'll head up out of here. We'll go into Luma Fusion. And you've seen like how the iPhone 16 Pro Max was like having some chop, but then some of them were smooth and you couldn't barely tell. That's the inconsistencies that come with a beta. All right, so I changed the icons to tinted mode, a lighter tinted clear look here for the relaunching of applications. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh my goodness, this looks atrocious. You see that? It's like a jitter on each launch. This is not Apple level performance right here. This is like mid-range. Whoa, even worse than mid-range right now. Look at this. Do you see that like, I don't know if you could see it. It's just like such a delay right there. Let's go over here to Gemini. And as we go through here, we're going to chat GPT. Hoo -hoo, this thing is slow. Wow, look at that. So people are gonna say my iPhone doesn't run like that. Well, I'm not sure yours does. Everybody's iPhone runs a little different, but man, that was choppy. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, iPhone on 18.5 and why you should stay here. Look at this. Why would you wanna come from this to that? Unless it's a side iPhone piece, just to play around with the features, I definitely wouldn't do it for your day to day. It's definitely gonna cause some inconveniences for you right now. Let's go to Grok, Gemini, but that's only right now. I can't wait to see how the betas evolve and how, how it becomes when it's buttery smooth because it's gonna be quite fun to use when iOS 26 is been polished up and it has fast animations and everything. Maybe it'll even get faster performance later, um, but definitely you've seen 18.5 super fast here to relaunch applications. All right, so let's go ahead and do some real world use here. We're gonna go into Instagram, we'll head up out of here, we'll comment on my latest post. I'm not actually gonna comment, but we'll just write liquid glass, and then we'll head up out of here, we'll go into calculator, we'll do a quick calculation, head up into the app store, go through here, 
and you see, and this is gonna be on the fastest version. And as we scroll, it looks like where we're having issues is the animations particularly. The app seem to be running okay. It doesn't seem like an application issue. It seems more like an animation issue right now. So that's my biggest con right here so far. And also when you go to tint certain icons, so if I go to customize and I wanna tint them a certain color or make them clear, for example, they can all like take a while to appear like that. So they're not like ready to go right away as we swipe through here. Okay, phone is getting really, really warm right now. Let me go ahead and see if I got my temperature machine here. I'm gonna check the temperature because it feels really warm right here. Yeah, we're at 112 at its hottest point. 112 at its hottest point just to do regular tasks like this. Not digging that. So it's gonna heat up for sure. Let's go ahead now and check the iPhone, the regular iPhone 16 Pro on the Instagram. You can see super smooth. If I go ahead and comment on my latest post, let's go right here. We'll just put liquid glass as well. Super smooth keyboard, animations look beautiful. So yeah, you, you better stay on the regular version if you want great performance. I mean, you do whatever you want. I'm not telling you exactly what I'm saying. If you want the better performance, you're gonna be much better off here. You can just see it's just so smooth. And they've had so many months to refine this. So 18.5 just runs like absolute butter right now. So definitely great. And also, we're doing all the same tasks here. I can go ahead and go through all these applications and we'll take a look here, look at the temperature here. 93 degrees running super cool to the touch and we were doing basically the same stuff over there on the on the iPhone 16 Pro Max so it definitely is warming up even under lighter use right now all right so Geekbench says it's iOS 19 but it's actually iOS 26 that's funny let's go into run the benchmark here and I'll be back I'll make sure I was doing the right one there run the benchmark we'll be back when they are both done to see what kind of scores they can get here and it just crashed there on that second attempt. So I'll be back when they're both done. And the results are not in. And I'm gonna tell you why, Geekbench keeps crashing. So I can't actually run a Geekbench test. Let's see if we can run 3D Mark. I'll try that and see if we can get that benchmark done. Um, so yeah, that should just tell you what you need to know. If it can't even do a benchmark because it's crashing, that's probably a sign you might wanna wait on the beta for at least the at least the first developer beta. This is just very, very preliminary stuff here just to showcase what's coming. And the final results are in, and we do have two FPS higher on the 16 Pro and a higher score by like 4,000 points, scoring better than 85% of devices, scoring better than 81. So 4% difference, but um, it's pretty noticeable. So yes, 18.5 clearly performing substantially better than iOS 26. Um, some people wanna know, like, should I download it? And my honest answer is not on your main phone, not right now anyway. That's definitely gonna change very soon here, uh, probably after a few updates to improve the performance. Um, but this one might take a little longer than usual, I feel like, to improve the performance, but I could be my words as well in just a couple of betas here. But definitely, currently, I would say no, unless you have a side phone that's not your main one, you just wanna play around with the features. Um, you'll probably wanna go back pretty quickly after discovering how bad this made your performance on certain devices. So um, great um, new update to see the changes, um, but definitely it's it really is meant for developers to improve the software over the next coming months. So uh, yeah, that's my take on the performance of iOS 26. If you wanna see the feature set, what I think about um, what's coming in the fall, take a look at my iOS 26 beta one review. I'll leave it linked down below for your convenience. And uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys all in the very next episode. Be sure to be well, Nick here and peace.